So Body Specific was established um, in 2013 with Lisa and I. Um, Lisa, prior to, had gone out on her own and decided she missed me. So <laughs> she wanted to go in to business together. And I said, okay, why not? Um, and so we started Body Specific. Um, at that time, we started with one other massage therapist who is still with us That's and awesome. um, a skincare specialist as well. Um, and from there on, we've branched out um, and we are now almost on our seventh year. Year. This November will be seven years. Congratulations. That's um, fantastic. We just rolled over two. So there you go. Very good. We're growing. <laughs> and so in the seven years, we have built the massage therapy side um, to, you know, we're varying right now between nine and 11 therapists. And we now have two skincare specialists. And then we, we brought on chiropractic. And so Dr. Cheyenne is helping us build the chiropractic side for chiropractic. And what's nice about having chiropractic here is that we are able to help somebody. And I'm going to let Lisa and Cheyenne talk more about how they help them. <laughs> right. Um, because Dr. Cheyenne also does acupuncture and other modalities as well. Gotcha. All right, Lisa. Yeah. So basically I had been used to being in uh, an office setting where I was in in a chiropractic chiropractic office and so I had previously my previous years had always had that partnership and that relationship with a chiropractor and the massage and the chiropractic uh, just really go hand in hand because the massage you're dealing more with the soft tissue and the muscles and things like that right. whereas the chiropractic is dealing more with the structure and, and that sort of thing so Addressing both of those uh, areas is way more helpful and way, way more long lasting uh, and having a better uh, overall wellness uh, approach if you combine the two. And the fact that Dr. Cheyenne also has acupuncture and she has pulse therapy and she does like uh, nutritional supplementation. That just, again, just adds even more of those uh, holistic pieces to the office so we can right. address each individual on a way more uh, encompassing uh, area, or not encompassing, whatever. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's how we like to create our spaces is to have multiple modalities to where we can uh, help uh, treat and provide different services for our clients that come. No, I think that's great. Um, a lot of our members that get into fitness either were fit when they were younger, like they were doing team sports or they were in the military. And so one thing that we've preached as we've come up as a CrossFit gym, because I think when CrossFit started, it came up as this like hardcore underground, rip it, grip it kind of world. And that's something that we have completely rejected as a way of life here. And so that's why I think this partnership was so cool. When I started asking around town about who people recommended as a body work chiropractic area, your guys' name came up a lot was because that's something that we're looking <laughs> to do. Yeah. Is, is, is help inform our members about how important recovery is not just rest days and drinking water and making sure they're eating right, but the actual hands-on and, and I think a lot of the higher level athletes, um, like I know uh, uh, co our coach Joe has gone and gotten some work done by you guys. Uh, they understand that at a higher level because they put so much more like tax on their body. But I think it's great. Um, my, one of our whole reasons for doing this is because I, I think most people think massages are for opulence and just to spend your money. And that, that's just not the case at all. People in here, especially with <laughs> body work and acu acupuncture and chiropractic work, can change how someone feels. And I think a lot of our members who have gotten into that have really benefited from it. Or Dr. Cheyenne, you want to talk to me a little bit about how chiropractic fits into that whole puzzle? That's uh, yeah. that, I think it's a great place to go. Definitely, definitely. So my approach, um, I approach the body as a whole. So I really love being here at Body Specific where I can refer to some of the therapists. Um, I've had work from each therapist on myself. So that way, when I'm working with a patient, I know, okay, 
someone who needs more of a deep tissue or someone who needs trigger point work like Lisa does really well, um, who to kind of send them to. Right. Um, and like I said, I, I kind of approach the body, the whole body. So, you know, somebody who's maybe got something going on with their hip or they've got some sciatic pain, um, I, I use what's called applied kinesiology. So manual muscle testing to assess the body a little bit deeper, finding out what muscles um, are firing appropriately or not firing appropriately, um, if that makes some sense. No, that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, that kind of leads into some, maybe some joint dysfunction. So if the, the sacroiliac joint here in the hip is not moving appropriately, that might inhibit or cause weakness in some glute muscles. So right. then when you're working out, you're doing squats, you're doing all sorts of different things, or you're just living your life, that muscle's not firing appropriately and can lead to some pain, right. some imbalances in the body. Do you guys see some common prominence with, with active people? Like I said, in, in general, between 25 and 45, we have a range outside of that, but that's our bell curve. Do you guys see common issues with them? That's definitely an age group that, that we hit here as well. It's very prominent here. And also individuals that are active, whether they're doing CrossFit or whether they're just lifting weights or running or training for some kind of uh, event. Um, so we definitely have a very, I believe, a very active demographic that comes and sees us. Uh, they're most of the, of the individuals, they're, they are health-minded. They are wellness-minded. And with that piece comes the fact that they are working out. Uh, I think it's going to be a wide, it is a wide, wide range of what we do see here. But I think what's neat is we have a, a large staff and even our staff, we're all very health and wellness minded. And with that becomes that we're all very active ourselves. And so we can also put in our own personal uh, experiences and understand where they're coming from. Um, if they're trying to describe a certain lift that they're doing, I find that a lot myself, I, you know, avid gym goer and yeah. uh, myself. So, so for even me personally, I'm able to relate with them on a, a deeper level just because I know what they're describing to me and I can uh, then say, okay, yep, let's, let's definitely focus on some of those areas that you could be having issues with. From, from doing those types of exercises. Yeah. Give me some ideas on what people, what you would probably recommend to one of our average community members about uh, what are different type of massages they could get, what kind of, you know, if they're, what kind of things would they be feeling that would, these things would benefit them and so on and so forth. So for the chiropractic side, um, you know, I guess I'm, I'm trying to think of, of like good examples, something somebody might be feeling, whether they're at the gym or if they're at home, um, um, like, headaches or shoulder pain or just lots of tension in their upper traps right. or maybe in their um I'm thinking of Joe today actually how I just saw him and um he came to me for wellness just like hey let's check my body out yep. um and we found some stuff going on in the shoulder that you know he didn't think a ton of while he was working out but just a little bit of shoulder not moving quite right um, that led down into the elbow and the wrist. So, you know, wrists when you're doing, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know the proper turn out. No, that's fine. Exactly. Um, but, or like a front squat, right. You know, maybe feeling some restriction in that wrist, you know, could possibly be something going on here in the wrist or in the elbow that would need adjustment. Um, or could even just be some muscle tension that needs, um, some trigger point work. Knees. Or, yeah, knees. And believe me, work. you guys are saving me a lot because Joe has been complaining about his wrist for like maybe the last year and a half. <laughs> so I hope, I hope he gets some relief because, man, yeah. that, that's a tough guy, but he does have a wrist problem. You're right. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyways, um, things like trigger, if we just want to segue right into trigger point. So, um, obviously we can get the chiropractic work, the adjustments, but like she was saying, it might not be something like that. It could be something to do with soft tissue, which could do trigger point. And if you wouldn't mind explaining, um, kind of what trigger point is and, and what you're doing with that. Sure. 
so trigger point therapy is just finding basically to dumb it, dummy it down very much. It's basically find not within the muscle belly itself. So okay. the, the the muscle will be irritated enough that it will form a, a knot within that muscle belly. And basically we're just palpating those areas, palpating those muscles that need to be addressed, finding those knots within the muscle and working it out, working out by applying pressure to it. Um, and that helps soften that out, helps lengthen out that muscle tissue, so that way uh, you're getting better range of motion then as well with, right. with that. It's not. Sure. So as far as the, the body work side of things, uh, massage, uh, I typically, after I see the individual, we kind of assess what's going on with the body and kind of like what you said, if it's something that is an acute issue, that they're, they're really uh, in some pain, then I recommend, say, once a week uh, for, say, four visits. Uh, and then after that, we just reassess to see if we how much progress that we have made. And then we can start stretching those uh, massages out further. If you are one that nothing's really bother you you just want to feel better and just right. kind of keep your body working optimally then i generally say for three to four weeks uh to come in every three to four weeks for more of a maintenance type of, of massage if you're very active i tend to gear towards more than three weeks if you're moderate you know less active then i would gear more towards the four weeks fantastic and dr cheyenne similar outlook or yeah pretty similar um I, I i definitely would gauge it on the individual themselves but um you know if you're someone who like lisa said you don't really have a whole lot of going on no major ailments um you're just really interested in keeping your body functioning at an optimal level um so you can do your workouts and you can pick up your kids and you can right whatever Whatever it is that you're doing, um, you know, I, I see the patient for the very first time. Um, I like to see them pretty soon after their first visit, just to see, okay, how did you do in that time period from your first visit to today? It's usually within three to four days. From there, it's kind of gauging the body and the individual. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, but routinely, you know, once or twice a month, Sometimes people, like I see them three times a year, and they feel great. They just come in and they say, Doc, I need my tune up. Right. Um, and then I see some people like clockwork, clockwork once a month. Um, it really just depends on the individual themselves. Well, and I think um, like that's like a, a story like Joe. I think the more intense someone gets into this world or the more they're working out, obviously, they're going to get little, little out of position and tweaks and, and stuff. I think the one thing we promote people to do more and more is not just push through those things. They're all reasonable things. Like even with Joe, I don't know how long Joe tried to blame his wrist on playing foosball a year and a half ago. <laughs> and I was like, I'm telling you, he won't play foosball anymore. He hasn't played in a year and a half. Cause he was like, oh Nope. God. So yeah. maybe we'll yeah. get him back on that. Um, final thing. I just want to talk about what we um, are doing a socially distanced uh, program here. We have boxes on the floor for everyone. We wear masks when we enter exit the building. And then when they're working out, they don't have to wear one. So our community is used um, to that, that social responsibility and we've had no problems. It's been fantastic. And so I just want to talk a little bit about, obviously you guys do something that's very hands-on. What does that look like in your business for now? Cause that's, that's pertinent to the time this is going to be coming out. And um, how you guys are handling that struggle? Because obviously it's been a struggle for all of us. Yeah, definitely. Short story, let's just go <laughs> to it. Um, we expect everybody to wear a mask when they come in. We all are wearing masks as well. Not for this interview, but we all right. sitting out. We, we do have masks. <laughs> I got mine too. You got to go branded. Oh, is it upside down? Uh, that's right. I got my logo on here. <laughs> <laughs> I have mine. Yeah, I have my body specific. That's right. Uh, yes. One, one of our members, not to get distracted for too long, one of our members sewed these together for us, and they are absolutely, uh, she did a little KVCF, little reversible puppy dog prints on the inside. She's uh, fantastic. Uh, shout shout yeah. out to Lori. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, mask, uh, and go ahead from there, sorry. And, I mean, it's pretty 
easy for people to stay distant from each other or right. clients distant from each other because we stagger the appointments. Uh, we have filtration systems in all the rooms. We bought those. Uh, hand sanitizing. Um, we have um, the chairs in the waiting room are all spaced out six feet apart. Yeah, roughly. Um, roughly. Um, we do temperature checks when yeah. if anybody comes in. Um, and then as far as, I, it's pretty consistent from chiropractic to massage. When you come into the room and you're face down on the table, you are allowed to take your mask off if you're more comfortable. Right. Therapists keep their on, theirs on the entire time. I keep mine on the entire time. Um, and then when we turn the patient or the client over on the table, um, they they have to put their mask back on. Gotcha. On so, and then everything else we've always been. I always I'm a little OCD, so I feel like we've always been really clean here. I mean, yeah. We've always, I mean, everything from head to toe. I mean, that's one of the things that a lot of times you said, they're like, your place is so clean. It's always clean. And I'm like, well, it's because we're clean all the time. So, that's something yeah. that was a big deal for us too. CrossFit gyms are uh, kind of in the past have been known to be notoriously dirty because uh, we use a lot of, we use chalk, which a lot of gyms don't use chalk. And so then chalk gets in the air and it sticks to everything and then sweat and it's a whole thing. But we also, that's a big point of pride for us too. And we've been really uh, we've always been big into cleaning, uh, and our membership now is we've had them do a lot of self cleaning and it's been awesome. And, but you're right. If you just, if you had that good business mentality from the beginning, this wasn't all that big of a deal really kind of coming out of it. But, um, I think that, let me check my notes here. Um, I mean, I think that's everything. It's been fantastic. I'm, I'm super looking forward to, I, uh, need to self indulge and I, I'm just going to set up and just come see everybody and try to do everything just cause. Uh, it's a good business write off, but, um, but, uh, we are, uh, we do have a deal with buy specific right now, which is uh, $10 off a 60 minute massage. Um, uh, I'll let you know if we ever do anything else in the future. In addition, we have, oh, look, I gave Michelle off my little card. Let me get a focus here. Uh, oh, nice. those look fantastic. Yeah. Um, but no guys, I'm really looking forward to, and I hope that, um, we can do some shared learning. I hope you guys will, um, get to see more and more CrossFitters, hopefully if everyone comes and checks you guys out and that'll be just a, a group that you're really used to seeing. Um, and in addition, I hope the community really starts understanding the benefits of uh, actual recovery and adjustments. And things.